Okay, guys, you've waited until Friday. We have a surprise. We are going on tour. Yay. <laughs> well, this is DP News. And it starts now. now. Attention current 10th and 11th graders who are NHS and or CSF members. Honor Society officer nominations are due to Miss Stone today. Elections will take place next Wednesday during lunch in the counseling office. Okay, after prom was a big hit. It sure was, and it really hit different this year with some huge raffle winners. Here's the one and only Scotty G with them now. Scotty G, Scotty G reporting, reporting on, on after, after prom. prom. So we had so some we great success, success, success with after prom, with over 400, 400 students, students present, being present and 350 students, students coming to the event. event. Our first, our first huge, winner huge winner is our, is our poker, poker champion, champion Brandon, Brandon Ruffalato. Ruffalato. And he is the, he winner, is the winner of a, of a bracelet, bracelet saying, saying that he is a Douglas High School poker 2019 champion. Congratulations. And a check for $100. Thank you very much for playing and being the poker champion of the year. All right. Next up, we have our Cash winners. cash winners. So, so our, our $150 cash, cash went to Calissa Flint. 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 Our $200, our $200 cash, cash went to Matthew, went to Matthew Spencer. Spencer. And our biggest, and our biggest cash, cash winner for $500, $500 cash, cash went to Brenda, Brenda Cedillo. Cedillo. So congratulations, Brenda, mm -hmm. for coming and spending the whole night at After Prom. Oh, great, great. Okay. okay. Our bicycle, our bicycle winners, winners were Ivan Carrera, Ivan Carrera and, and Yana Sinaki. Sinaki. And now for, and now all, for all the Grand Prize winners. So Justin Juarez won the GoPro camera. Eric Ramirez won the Apple Watch. The trip for two to Disneyland was won by Sergio Perez. The Google, the Google Chromebook was won by David Aguirre. The brand new Apple wireless AirPods were won by Lauren Solis. And the brand new Powerbeats headphones were won by Giovanni Carasher Ortiz. The brand new Beats wireless headphones were won by Giselle Garcia. And the brand new Sono speaker went to Josh Luna. Thanks everybody for coming to After Prom. And you will be getting a special interview with our winner of the Apple with the MacBook Pro, which is Diana Lucio. Thanks again for coming to After Prom 2019. Thanks, Scott. And congratulations to the winners. I've never been so jealous. The second to last CalSOAP workshop is taking place today from 9 to 12 in the Career Center. The last one is, is next Friday. Don't miss these helpful opportunities and make sure to get a sign pass from your teacher before heading over. Nolan, I can't believe the school year is almost over. I'm going to miss you so much. Same, but I'm going to miss our school iPads even more. Oh, no, yeah, cool. Well, here's a video on iPad collection now. <laughs> DP, this is Miss Pierce, and I'm going to be talking to you about the end of the year iPad collection. So starting off, freshmen, sophomores, and juniors, you guys are going to be keeping your iPads over the summer. Unless you are not going to be in the SB Unified School District next year, or if you're going to opt in to having your iPad collected. If this is the case, the iPads are going to be returned Wednesday, June 5th, the last day of school to a kiosk that's set up at the bus loop near the EPAC. So you'll be turning them in the last day of school if you're one of those two cases. Please make sure you have your case and keyboard when you turn them in. All right, so for seniors, you guys are no longer gonna be in the SB Unified School District. So you are going to be turning in your iPads Friday on senior checkout day, May 31st at the bus loop near the EPAC from 8 to 3 p.m. So make sure to get those iPads turned in with the case and the keyboard. If you do not turn in your iPad that date, your diploma and or transcripts will be held until it is returned. So make sure you make that senior checkout turn in time. If you by chance miss that turn in time on senior checkout day, you can return your iPad to the kiosk of the bus loop on Wednesday, the last day of school for everybody else. That's June 5th. And if you end up missing that one, then you have to go down to the district office yourself and turn in your iPad. So no bringing it to school. No one will bring it to school after the June 5th deadline. They will have to bring it down to the district office after that. All right, if you have any questions about your iPad, you can always come to H1 during seminar and we can answer your questions there. All right, thanks, DP. Remember to turn in those iPads, Chargers. 
if you are a good person, unlike us, and did community service this year, today is the last day to turn them in. Make sure to get those hours in if you want credit for graduation. Do, Do it. it! So it's almost the end of the year. And that means that yearbooks are all the rage. Yeah, if you haven't bought a yearbook yet, there, there are, only are only 60, 60 left, left for, for purchase. purchase. Don't miss out on this great book full of all of the memories of this year. You can get one in room T3. Here's just a quick shout out to the wood shop for nailing, nailing it, it at the district showcase. Here's a video now. But great job, you guys. Hey, DP. Today, Today is, is the, the last, last Greek activity, activity of the school year. year. We know we told you that tug of war was happening last week, but it, it is, is happening, happening today. today. So Chargers, get your teams ready because it's going to be a heck of a time. Now we're gonna send it on over to CASP testing raffle. Good morning, DP. Thank you so much, juniors, for all of your efforts during our CASP testing. We have our final drawing today from math testing that we had last week. It ended last week. I know some of you might have done testing a couple weeks ago, but here we have our final results. So for a Panda gift card, we have Diana Galaviz. For uh, Kyle's Kitchen, Trey Jones. Uh, for Starbucks, we have Olivia Lernan. For another Starbucks, Gabriel Ronhell. Uh, Kyle's Kitchen, we have an uh, Isla and Hernandez, uh, Panda Express, we have Leia Magnuson. For a DP uh, tank top, we have Kylie Heather, a Charger Blue Long Sleeve, Ava Gutau, a pair of socks, Brianna Castro, another pair of socks, Leilani Busifal, another pair is Michaela Triplett. Our final pair of DP socks, we have Melanie Baronha. And then for $15 for the Snack Shack, we have Carlos Villarreal. Another $15 for the Snack Shack, Reina Perez. We have a guest for you and a guest for Homecoming 2019, Alex Riley. And our final prize is the grand, draw, uh, grand prize drawing for a DPHS yearbook. The winner is Peter Spire. Thank you so much, Chargers, and have a great rest of your year. Thanks and congratulations, congratulations to the winners. Winner. <laughs> well, those pebbles. It's the time to go. So long. Farewell. <laughs> Vita said goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Anyways, I'm Nolan. And I'm Lindsay. Signing, signing out. out. Now let's send it on over to Ruggedy Kabatika. But get it with the Good morning, DP, and welcome back to your favorite day of world news. Let's get this thing rolling. Today is May 24th, which means that today is the Global Fridays for Future strike for climate change. Millions of kids all across the world are striking to convince leaders and politicians that climate change is, in fact, a very real issue. They argue, why study for your future, which may not be there? People who are striking are doing so in front of their closest town hall every Friday and posting pictures with the hashtag Fridays for Future and hashtag Climate Strike. This protest is police approved in many areas worldwide. Fridays for Future promotes peaceful protests and highly recommends that if you are to participate in this strike, you do so safely. Well, Chargers, that brings us to the end of our show. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you on the flip.